Welcome to Pro Practice, your guide to refine, enliven, and illuminate the piano repertoire. I'm Josh Wright, and today we are going to be looking at a Mozart sonata. It's, <coughs> it's the Mozart sonata K331. Uh, it's commonly referred to as Rondo a la Turca. Um, this is just a little sample, so you remember. going to be going over certain technical aspects today that will make you feel more comfortable at the keyboard, musical aspects, interpretation. I'll give you several different exercises to work through these things to help you become as efficient as possible when you practice. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do, I think, with these is 4, 3, 2, 1, 3. You don't want to be doing like 3, 2, 1, 2, 4. Um, you can do that, but I don't like to be in on these black keys when I can help it. There's going to be certain aspects, like in this part, where I'll ask you to do ones on the black keys. But I want you to just think about this and think four, three, two, one, three. And if you can't get that really good, do this little exercise for me, where you go last two notes and then last three notes. And my fingers are very active right now. I want you to think active fingertips. Use your arm weight to get the weight in your keys, but then active fingertips. And then three, two, three, one. Three, two, three, sorry, three, two, one, three. And then, and it should be good if you do that. Just practice add on from the end. So you start with the last note, second to last note to last, third note, to the last, second note to the last, last, and so forth. And do on each of them, because each of them have a, a little bit of a different feel. It's, it's gonna feel a little different on all white keys. And then. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four. One little disclaimer here, you, you should get an Ortex edition for your Mozart uh, pieces. There are so many terrible editions for Mozart out there that you really do want a pure edition uh, for this. U-R-T-E-X-T. -E there's several different uh, publishers that create Ortex editions. I have my favorites, but I won't say them uh, on this video just for copyright reasons. If you're really curious, uh, just, just uh, shoot me an email and I'll let you know what my favorites are. <laughs> So, one, two, three, and I want you to play those almost together. Practice blocking them. A lot of people get uh, kind of uh, blocky in there and, and, and laggish, you know, like lagging along, and it disrupts the flow. Once you practice this, block just... Just barely separate them. And you could do. Why don't I just do three, four, five, four, two? It's because we feel more comfortable with one, two, three. There are stronger fingers. Uh, for playing Bach, for instance, I always try to use one, two, and three as much as possible because they're a little stronger. I don't like to be four, five, three, four, five all over the place. I'd rather have one, two, three. So that's the reasoning behind the fingering I'm choosing. I think you should absolutely do the repeats in this piece. Um, some people might disagree, and if you're in a time constraint or perhaps in a competition that has a time constraint, you don't need to do it. But let's talk about how we could be a little different. So the first time. Start big. 
I kind of like to be glorious here, bigger. And a little, slightly less on that second repeat of it, and then. Another option is to echo, and then soft. Lower than resolve. There's tons of different options that you can do on these, and you should do slightly different things on your repeats. I don't think this is like a Bach piece to where you're going to be wanting to ornament things like crazy. Um, you know, something like that where that would be very commonplace in Bach in a repeat. Uh, but I don't think you want to do a whole lot of extra ornamentation in, in this Mozart um, piece. You know, that might be a little strange, especially for a competition. So just try to vary your dynamics. Thank you so much for watching. As with all pro practice videos, the first section is free. If you'd like to view the rest of this video, or if you're interested in learning more about pro practice, just click on the link on this screen or on the link in the comments section below. Thank you for your support of pro practice.